What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Oh my god, bro. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I want you guys to stop right there. Hold up. Hold on. And chill for a minute. While you're doing that, why don't you give me the HBO special by hitting that subscribe button, like button, and that thank you button to show support for the channel. If you guys like videos like this and more, or any type of value that I bring to you, let me know how you love the channel, and I will continue to keep doing what I'm doing over here on the Lockout Man podcast show. Yo, let's just jump right into it. Yo, we've we been through this. We've we been through this. We all have been through this. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Oh, my God, bro. This ain't happening, bro. This ain't fucking happening. This ain't fucking happening, bro. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my fucking God. Great. You know, this, this is why some of us don't like parking in major trust stops like pilots jays uh loves and petros and the rest of them because you might end up in a situation like this now i was in a situation like this years ago in my rookie season unfortunately i was in a i was at a flying j and i was coming around a corner it was a truck like, Ill, well, I'm going to say illegally parked. He, he wasn't in the parking spot. He was up against the, you know, up against the medium. And then there was another truck on the other side of me that wasn't in a parking spot either. Right. So what happened was I came around, you know, I came around, called myself. I, I thought I had the space. I thought I had the distance. Came around and got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Clipped him just like that. Just like that. So, of course, you know, I'm like, oh, man. Just, you know, I'm thinking about I'm about to lose my job and everything. And luckily for me, you know, I, being a rookie and working for a company that, you know, that that gives rookies chances. Um I got out and I tried to look for the driver. I'm like, yo, you know, driver, you know, let's, let's, you know, exchange, you know, exchange uh, insurances and all that other good stuff. I could not find him at all. Like he wasn't, he, he wasn't in the fuel stop. He wasn't in his sleeper. He wasn't in the parking lot. I mean, he just illegally parked outside of the parking spot and just bounce. So I couldn't wait around. I called my safety department at the time and it was like, yo, call the police, make a report, make sure you get the report number, yada, 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 you know, all the, all the blah, blah, blahs, right? So I called the police, police came there and unfortunately they told me it wasn't nothing that they can do because this was private property. And what they did was, you know, just, you know, say the matter that they came. It was like, all right, cool, bam, bam, boom. You know, I kind of left the number for the company, you know, U.S. Express, phone number right here, call to the safety department, you know, and pass on the information, yada, yada, yada. I left my truck number. I was thinking to myself, I was like, yo, should I just leave my, my, uh, my name? Maybe. But I was like, no, I'll just leave the truck number because, you know, when you call in the truck number, they're going to know what who they're going to know who drove that truck anyway. So I left that and that was about it. 
But there's been plenty of situations like this in all truck stops across America. That's why that's why some truck drivers don't even park in truck stops sorely because of this right here. You guys, let me know in the comments below. Have you been in a situation like this? Have you been in a situation like this? Maybe. Let me know in the comments below. Now, as far as this guy goes, I, I can't see why <laughs> the 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 what the fuck. I, I don't get it. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Oh my god, bro. This ain't happening, bro. This ain't fucking happening. This ain't fucking happening, bro. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my fucking God. Great. I mean, it happens, bro. <laughs> It happens. I mean, you're in a company. You, you're, you're a company driver, so there's nothing too much to worry about. You're not at fault here. So, what is the what what is the constant what the fucks? I don't get it. You know, one what one what the fuck and done. All right, just get out, get the information, and move on. Now, of course, this if this was an owner op, then yeah, it would be an issue. You know what I'm saying? Because some owner ops, you know, they only operate out of one truck. And when that one truck goes down, it messes up their money. And that's why, again, owner ops don't like parking in major truck stops. We're not trying to park in a parking lot where we know that situations like this can and will happen all right can and will happen so again uh it happened to me of course it happens to the best of us i saw recently a truck coming around cut too close and 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 uh and snapped off the the driver's hood in front unfortunately i didn't get the video <laughs> <laughs> you know, because of the way I was positioned. But, you know, like I said before, it happens to the best of us. Hold on. Potentially a bluff. Why are you. The river. Tell, tell him not to back he up. And I decide to bet 125 here. Don't worry, company drivers, you know, new jacks. If you get into situations like this, you know, just give your information to your safety department, let them handle it, and then just keep on moving. If you can drive, all they're going to do is just route you to uh, the dealership where they could probably fix it. You probably might get layover pay and all like that and just keep it moving. Or they'll just, you know, send a tow truck bring you over to the closest uh, terminal. And then from there, you're good. You're golden. They're going to put you in a different truck and you're going to keep on moving. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Oh my God, bro. This ain't happening, bro. This ain't fucking happening. 
This ain't fucking happening, bro. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my fucking God. Great. So again, let me know in the comments below if you guys have been in a situation like this or if you guys have seen situations like this or if you have any advice for, you know, for parking in a in in a fuel in at a fuel stop, let me know. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Yo, thank you for giving me the HBO special. That's by hitting the like button, subscribe button, and the thank you button to show support for this channel. Until next time, everybody, stay tuned for the next video. Peace. What the fuck? I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, it went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, got bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I'll remake make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like this symphony. Your career's done, done, done.